welcome to today's video clean clear bright firm tight looking skin if you are struggling with sagging skin if you are struggling with blackhead large pores if you're looking to transform your skin into a bright glowing younger fresher toner and firmer looking skin guess what today I have a facial mask that you can try this facial mask is gonna help to do all of that with continuous use so if you're looking to achieve all of that then guess what continue watching this video now here I have a tomato and this is a plump tomato however you can go ahead and use whatever kind of tomato you have now the benefits of tomato includes increasing a fairness balancing pH tightening pores treating sunburn reducing irritation and even curing acne you can use tomato along with other beneficial ingredients to maintain a healthy as well as to treat common skin issues. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing with the tomato today. I'm using the tomato to maintain healthy, bright, clear, younger, fresher looking skin. Our next ingredient is milk and this is fresh milk. And milk is rich in vitamin B, alpha hydroxy acid, calcium and other potent antioxidant that is beneficial to the skin. It will nourish skin cells from deep within and keep skin moisturized all day. It is also good for acne. It will also gently exfoliate the skin and get rid of spots and blemishes. One thing I like about using milk on the skin is that it is also great for shrinking large pores. It helps to lighten that skin and it leave your skin just soft, supple and red. Radiant. Now our next ingredient is corn starch and corn starch when mixed with other ingredients will help to nourish the skin it will help to get rid of irritated skin therefore if you have like acne and blackhead and even large pores the corn starch is gonna do wonders for your skin so now let's begin and I'm only going to use a half of this tomato so I'm going to cut my tomato in two halves and take a look really nice fresh tomato I have here and I'm going to chop the tomato for blending so I'm just going to chop the tomato in small pieces If you have a powerful blender, you do not need to chop. You could go ahead and blend as is. And here is the chopped tomato. And now I'm going to blend. Now do not add any water to this. The tomato is going to make its own juice. And take a look at this. This is our blended tomato. So I'm just going to pour this in. And here it is, your blended tomato. So now that we have our tomato juice ready, take a look at what I'm gonna be doing here. Now here we have the fresh milk, and to use this milk today, we are gonna warm the milk. So now that our milk is warmed, let's put this together. Now reaching for my cornstarch, I'm going to be using one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of our tomato puree. We're going to mix this together first. Just mix it in a nice paste. So just blend the cornstarch with the tomato. Next, reaching for our milk, and we're going to start off with one tablespoon of milk. And once you get to this stage, you got to work really, really fast. The milk is warm, so just keep blending. Now, this is going to get thick when you set it aside. Therefore, I'm going to go back in 
and I'm going to use another tablespoon of milk, making that two tablespoons of hot milk. And just blend. And now your facial mask is ready. So you're going to set this aside to cool. And once it is cooled, I'm going to show you how to apply this to your skin for best result. Now here is your facial mask after it is cool and you can see how thick and nice it is. Now if you're in a hurry, you can also cool this down in your refrigerator for about 10 minutes or so. So now let's go over the other side and use our wonderful facial mask. So here is the facial mask and to use this for best result you want to start with clean skin. So just cleanse your face, exfoliate it if you have to, pat dry and then you're ready for the facial mask. I like to use a brush to apply this facial mask however it is thick enough so if you choose to use your hands go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna dip in and be generous with it and apply it to the face. Now this is a thick facial mask so you want to just paste it on. Now one thing I like about this facial mask is it's fast acting. If you have large pores and the nose be generous with it, just cover the nose. Now the wonderful thing about this facial mask is the fact that it's gonna lighten and brighten the skin, but it is also great for tightening and firming the skin. Now when using this facial mask, you wanna work really fast because it's dry really, really quick, okay? Now once you start applying it to the skin, you're gonna feel it tightening on the skin. Not to worry, move as fast as you can and get it on your skin. Now after applying the mask with a brush, what I'm gonna do next, just before it get dry, I'm gonna use my hands like this and I'm just gonna rub it on my skin. Just massage the mask in the skin. As I said before, you gotta work fast because this mask tend to really dry on the skin pretty fast. Now what is happening? Why am I doing this? Now this is because I'm using tomato in this facial mask and the tomato is going to help to get rid of the dullness on the skin. Therefore, this mask is doing double duty. It has been used as a facial mask and also as an exfoliator. So once you exfoliate with the mask, then leave it on for 30 minutes. So I'm just going to sit with this, just chill for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the result. Now, I've been wearing this facial mask for 30 minutes, and it is basically dried on my skin. I can feel it tightening on my skin and I'm gonna come up close for you to see that is what it looks like on the skin I'm feeling it grabbing my skin tightening my skin so what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna rinse this off and I'm gonna come back and show you my result I'm back. Take a look. My skin is feeling amazing, guys. Amazing. So what you're going to do next, you're going to go ahead and apply some facial toner and then your facial serum and your facial moisturizer. Okay? So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, don't leave without giving it a thumbs up. Share the video and leave your comment. I also have a show, guys, and this is Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. This is every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time. You don't want to miss it. And Sunday Chit Chat, we discuss the topic. I take your questions and we have, you know, interactive conversation for half an hour. So, join me every Sunday for Sunday Chit Chat. Thank you all for watching. Now, if this was your first time watching, you don't want to miss another video. Also, you want to check out this Sunday Chit Chat. So look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Click on it and you will be subscribed. At the side, there's a little bell. If you click on that, you will get a notification as soon as I upload a video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.